Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to use the Boolean factor, and it is mainly used to factor the models here. For example, if you want to create any explosions, destructions, we will use this node. So first, we'll take a geometry node and go inside, and just we'll take a box. And now we have to convert this model into volume. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to take ISO offset. So just we'll take this and connect this. And we will enable this display flag and also we will increase the number of divisions. So if you select this node and here there is an option called uniform sampling division. So you can increase this so that uh, just you can put up to like 50. And now what the thing is just we need to convert into like points uh, so that we will take a uh, scatter node. So just we'll take a scatter so that it will convert into points. So this I will connect to this. And now see it has been converted into points here. And also see the number of points is very high. Uh, so we need to decrease this. Uh, so the, let's say just we'll put up to like uh, 50 or something. So actually what the thing is, we need to slice the box here. So in order to slice this, we'll take a grid. So just I will take a grid. And now what the thing is, this grid has to be make a number of copies in the place of these points here. Means like say, uh, like suppose we have like total number of points are 50. So now we need to make an 50 copies of this grid here. So in order to do that, just we need to take and copy two points. So just we need to select this and just we need to write here. So now see here. So here we have an 50 points. So we got the 50 grids here. Now what the thing is, we need to create a random direction so that we can slice the box here. So in order to randomize this orientations of this grid here, uh, for this scatter node, we need to take a node called attribute randomize. So just we'll search for attribute randomize and we need to connect to this here. And now what the thing is, we need to randomize the orientations, means like the normals of this grid here. So defaultly here, the attribute name is CD. So just we'll convert into like normal. So we'll put up to N here. So see now, each and every normal of this grid has been randomized and we got the different uh, rotations of this uh, grid here. And also here we will change the distribution uh, in this attribute randomize. Uh, so we'll put up to like uh, inside sphere so that now we got this thing. So actually what the concept of this thing is now we will slice this box by using this number of grids here so that we can get the different kind of factor shapes on the box. So you will see that. And if you see, for example, now, uh, for example, if I display flag on this box and just I will enable the template for this copy node. And uh, here you can see now the planes has been sliced onto this box here. So by using this, it will create a random cuts over the box. Uh, so just we'll decrease the grid size here. Uh, so we'll select this. We can use the size here. So just we will decrease this. So let's say up to here, that's fine. So now here, what the thing is, all the grids has been overlapped to the box with the random rotation. So based on this, it will create the cuts over this box so that we can explode or we can use for destructions. So now we need to take an Boolean fracture node. Uh, so just we'll take an Boolean fracture node. So here we have in two inputs here. Now what the thing is, now we want to slice the box here. Uh, so what the thing is, we have to connect this box uh, to this input here uh, so that we will connect this to the box here. And this we will connect to copy two points. So what the concept is like uh, by using this Boolean fracture node, it will slice the box by using this planes here. So we need to put the input correctly. So the first one has to be connected to the box. Means like uh, the object which you want to make a slice. And here we have to connect the object with which you are going to slice here. So we are going to slice the box by using this uh, like grid node here and we will slice the box. So that's why we need to make this connection here. So just we'll enable this and just I will turn off the uh, template node. So see now uh, by using this number of slices, it has been made cuts to this box here. So in order to see it properly, we will take an explode node. Uh, so, so just for this Boolean fracture, we will take an explode view. So connect this and just will connect to here and just will enable. So see now the box has been fractured by using this grid nodes here. And now we got more pieces. Suppose if you want to increase or decrease the number of pieces, we can go to this scatter node. Uh, so you can go and we can decrease the number of count of these points here. So it depends upon your requirement. We can place the value here. So let's say we'll put up to like 30 or something. So, or I'll just will uh, decrease. So it will take load on the system here. So let's say we'll put up to like 15 or something. So now we got this thing. 
So now you can see we got the flat cut here. Means like, uh, for example, if you see inside these pieces, uh, we got the flat cut because we have used these planes here. So what the thing is, now we want the random cut over inside also. Means like it will look more natural. Now what the thing is, we will make a random shape for this grid here. Uh, so just I will enable this grid now. So for this, we need to take one node called like mountain. So just we'll take a node called mountain. So just I will connect after this grid. And now if you enable this display flag, so now we got the random shape of this grid here. Uh, so let's say we'll increase number of rows and columns. So just we'll put up to like 50 by 50 because we need to get the more detail and we'll go to the mountain node. And now we will increase the amplitude. Uh, so just we can increase. And also if you want, you can increase this element size. So how much random you want. And now you see if you enable this copy to point. So now, now we got the random shape of this planes here. And now if you enable this explore view and now see inside we got the beautiful shape with the random look and this is looking more natural. And if you go to this explore view and you can enable and disable this. So now see like we can enable and disable this options here. So we, if you want, you can give the animation to uh, means for example, uh, suppose if I put it to like a uniform scale to zero and just will turn on the animation for this uniform scale. So in order to turn on the animation, just you can alt left click so that it will turn on the animation. And let's say after like uh, 70 frames or something, just we can enable this in this way. And now again, we need to press alt left click so that it will enable the keyframe. And now we will play with the real time value so that we have to enable this option. And now we will see if I click on this play, you can press space or else just you can click on this here. So see now we got this explosion view. So in this way we can use this Boolean fracture. So it, has, it can be used to explore the objects. And if you want to make any building destructions randomly, then we can use this Boolean fracture. So that's it for this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.